Sagittarius Sun, Cancer Moons, this is your 2019 reading. When you view it is when you were meant to see it. I'm doing them in the order of requests in the comments. So put up your Sun Moon sign request. First portion of this reading will be me reading a textbook definition of your Sun Moon sign, and I will be crediting the reference below. So check that out in the description box. I will then lay out the main cards. We'll take a quick look at what's going on. The second portion of this will be the link below, which will take you to a Vimeo. Take you to Vimeo. <laughs> where I will be continuing the reading. I will have a deeper, deeper interpretation of the cards in addition to clarifiers, okay? I am breaking the year up into four different sectors. Other things to mention, I'm on Instinko, Facebook, Instagram, so look me up. Also check out my playlist for my 2018 readings in case you want guys want to look into the end of the year. Um, and also my compatibility readings are going to be up in my playlist. So let's see what's going on with you guys. First, let me read the the textbook definition for sun and Sagittarius moon and cancer the combination of your sun sign and your moon sign yields a personality that is idealistic and very much the romanticist you're a dreamer and a visionary this versatile and sensitive combination blends the sincerity optimism enthusiasm and expressiveness of Sagittarius with the emotional depth feeling and intuitive insight of cancer a desire to learn with practical ability suggests a flexible versatile or adaptable expression of talent an intuitive foresight guides you and may keep you out of trouble in everyday affairs. An emotional awareness enables you to understand people and know what it is they want. In business, you can actually sense the public trend or interests. An optimistic and enthusiastic nature vitalizes your feelings and emotions and stimulates your actions. Because of your emotional nature, you are prone to extremes. Control of your excitement, control your excitement and enthusiasm. Don't let emotions distort reason as they are apt to do. You can be somewhat impulsive in expression of your feelings or sympathies, and consequently, consequently, your choice of friends is sometimes based on how you feel rather than what you know about an individual. You do better when you are more careful and choose friends. Uh, yeah, choose friends from those who have proved to be reliable, honest, and intelligent. Because of the nature of your sun and moon polarity, it is likely that emotional extremes or a tendency toward sensationalism can be a problem for you. You may often attempt to reach too high or strive for too much recognition. You succeed most easily when you combine your intuitive skills and develop a habit of steady concentration. So let's see what's going on with you guys. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, universe, please find your truth, your clarity, your wisdom, your insight for Sagittarius, sun, Cancer Moons 2019. Okay, Holy Spirit Angels, can you please show me what they can expect? January, February, March. Okay, they're pulling out the star card in reverse. What can Sagittarius Sun, Cancer Moons express? April, May, June. The Knight of Pentacles in the upright. What can Sagittarius Sun, Cancers expect? July, August, September. We have the Ten of Cups in reverse. And what can Sagittarius Sun, Cancer Moons expect October, November, December 2019? Sagittarius Sun, Cancer Moons. I don't know what's up with this shuffling. October, November, December. Okay, they're pulling out two cards for you guys. Lucky, you get the bonus. Okay, you get the nine of wands in reverse and the page of cups are reverse okay so you guys start off the year maybe on a little bit of a low note some of you could be losing hope um in regards to anything because this is a general reading so in regards to you know finding a job finding romance um you know what have you just in general losing hope getting a little bit depressed wondering if things are going to work out this is the card of aquarius for some of you if that resonates so and some of you could actually start off the year actually suffering from illness physical illness and or mental illness so it's going to be a little bit of a low point you can expect from january through march um as we move into april may june we have the knight of pentacles here is you thinking observing figuring out how you are going to move forward throughout the year um you're certainly not going to be taking any kind of risks maybe because you're coming out of this situation so you're figuring out okay what's your plan going to be how are you going to be moving forward how are you going to be doing it and it has to be a plan that's very conservative it's very tangible it's very low risk a lot of you are going to be working very hard um just you could be working hard in very general just to kind of reach a goal but if you are 
are working hard, you're staying at something that, um, like I said, is low risk. It's dependable. You know that you can kind of count on it. Um, but you guys are really being really hesitant, like I said, about taking any chances, making any investments, doing anything radical. You're just kind of being overly conservative during this period of time. Over here, we have the Ten of Cups in reverse. So from July, August, September, um, again, things aren't going so great. You might be having problems in the home. Um, the Ten of Cups usually is problems with the family, things going on at home, things aren't working out. There might be arguments. There might be um, someone's being um, left behind. Someone's being neglected. It could be that, you know, you don't have um, values that are on the same page with somebody, and this is causing um, imbalance and upset and, you know, just a general general tension in the home, I feel like. So I feel like your home's going to be affected um, in that way, July, August, September. Now we move into the end of the year here. We have the Nine of Wands in reverse with the Page of Cups. This is actually a good thing. So towards the end of the year, it's going to look better for you. Um, although I will say with this Nine of Wands in reverse, you guys are really kind of paranoid. <laughs> and maybe it's because you've had a rough year, so you're really not kind of, you know, you're just you're just being paranoid. You're worried about somebody um, invading your territory, somebody coming in that wasn't invited, um, being under attack. Some of you might be defensive. So you're being very, very standoffish to this person here, which is the Page of Cups coming in. And it could be an offer of new love. Um, it could be an apology coming in. Um, whatever this Page of Cups holds for you, whether it be um, telling you to enjoy life, offering you volunteer work, offering you favorable news. You're not trusting it here with this nine of pentacles. I mean, this nine of wands in reverse. So I'd be really careful. Um, just take this person at face value rather than based on the kind of the defensiveness that you're setting up for yourself towards the end of the year. Okay. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and go into Vimeo. I'll go into this deeper. I will pull clarifiers on this and we can figure this all out. Just click on the link below and we can continue this in here. Otherwise, I'm going to mention again, I'm on Instinko, Facebook, Instagram, and then check out my playlist for my compatibility readings, my 2018 readings, and then um, consider a personal reading. I can pretty much do a reading on anything, so just send me an email, which is listed below, and I can make that happen, okay? Adios from Veronica Garnett. Thank you for your support, Sagittarius Sun, Cancer Moons. Bye.